All right, homesteader family. So I went to town today. I picked up a gallon of the black roof cement tar by Henry. And the reason I do this is because of what it says right here. You get a watertight seal, flexible, durable, and most roof surfaces, which I don't care about that. And I also went ahead, I picked up two rolls of insulation and one sheet of plywood. That was $130 uh, for everything, basically. So $130 bucks do not buy much, but it gets me somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this roof tar. And basically how the roof tar works, I don't know if it's code or anything like that, which I don't care. Because I, I built my own place. And as long as it stands, that's all I care. But see, that roof tar, when I push it down in here, it's going to have the oils and everything from the roof tar seep into the wood on both sides by doing that it seals the water out of the wood and then it also seals that crack so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to tar around here i'm going to tar this area tar these boards and then uh i'll let it sit for a week or two to dry out and then go ahead and paint everything over with the olive drab and that's going to be that it's a beautiful evening. I had to go to town, but I just got this fence done here. So I went, a, went ahead and put the smaller fencing right here to keep the rabbits out. Cause the rabbit got my fig tree there. It got the blackberry bush here. It got this uh, fig tree and it got most of this blackberry bush. So now I'm completely sealed all the way around with this small fence. And it's, like I said, the one by three or something like that. The rabbits can't get in. So it's been a busy day even though I went to town. I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.